Hello there. I'm Lindsay Carabino, a GTA Realtor. Now, I recently received my SRES designation, which is my Seniors Real Estate Sales Representative designation. This just helps me understand the needs of seniors in the real estate transaction. This piqued my interest as I wanted to find out what services there are out there for our parents and ourselves as we age. So today we're going to be chatting with Opal Rowe, owner of Living Assistance Services GTA North. Opal is going to be telling us how we can help our parents continue to age in place in their homes where they have been so comfortable for the past decades. So Opal, what exactly is the service that you provide? Lindsay, Living Assistance Services is a home care company that helps seniors to live independently, usually in their own homes. I see. Lindsay, we assist seniors with a wide range of medical and non-medical care. You can go to our website to see a list of these activities, but some of the examples would include housekeeping, respite care so you can take a break, and even palliative care. Our services are provided 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. That's very comforting to know. So if my mother, if my parent is aging and sick, I can bring you guys in. You can sleep and babysit for a moment and I can just go to the movies or whatever. Most definitely. Many caregivers are just stressed with caregiving. Mm -hmm. And you can bring us in while you take a break and we do the care for you. And you can go out and enjoy yourself knowing that your loved one is being taken care of. That is such a worry. So Opal, you're coming in and providing different levels of service that the caregiver may need for their aging parent. I'm wondering, who would be your typical client then? Our typical client would be the daughter of a senior, usually over 45 years old. Someone who is trying to balance their career, have their own family, and are caring for their parents are their, or their in-laws, etc. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of pressure. The care recipients, the persons who we actually care for, are usually females over 75 years old, widowed and living alone. I see. So why would that be? Are the husbands passing on? Typically speaking, men marry younger women so they can be cared for. <laughs> and then, you know, they pass away and then the wives are left and they have nobody to care for them. So we're typically going in to help care for the moms. I see. God, no, but this is this is really interesting. <laughs> it's the daughters who contact you, yes. and it is the mothers who are being cared for. Yes. The men are just we're care we, women are caregivers. Women are the caregivers. Are we are caregivers. Women to care for us. Yes, <laughs> we are the caregivers. And when something goes wrong, you are pre brought in. If the children are sick, you're calling us. And if calling people, mm -hmm. and if the mothers are sick, even if it's the in-laws, so the husbands are there, and sometimes the pair, the daughters will be the wives will be calling and say. My husband's mother is. So you touched on something a second ago, Opal. I, as primary caregiver, can go out and use your services knowing that my loved one is going to be safe. But how do you protect the clients with the people who work for you? Lindsay, that's a very good question because seniors are deemed to be the most vulnerable people in our society. We protect our clients from the very first step, our hiring process. All our caregivers are pre-screened and thoroughly interviewed. We check their references, previous work employment, and we do police background checks on them. Mm -hmm. We only hire people with a minimum of two years Canadian experience. Uh -huh. And we also ensure that the people we're hiring have medical checks and required immunizations. There's also the physical aspect of protecting our clients. We ensure that our workers are trained in safety precautions. When working in care recipients' home, we inspect it for safety hazards, and where necessary, make improvements to yourselves to improve safety. Oh, you mean like you put a bar in the bathroom? We would make recommendations that the carpet is slippery, it needs to be removed or be replaced. We also liaise with several companies who do this, so we can also make recommendations for where you can go to get this. Because oftentimes, you wouldn't have known about this. These are not things that you think about naturally. Absolutely not. I mean, how many times has my mother been 80 years old, right? It's the first exactly. time for me. Exactly. So we will come in and things that you take for granted, you know, a rug that was always there for many years, could now be the cause of her fall. So we would come in, we would look for those things. If things are too high and she's climbing up, we're going to make recommendations to you 
to have these things addressed so we can ensure that your parents are staying safely in their homes. So. Oh, that makes me feel, that, that's feeling good with me. Yeah. Okay, Opal, to recap, the workers you employ are, are thoroughly screened. They must be cleared medically, they need to have a police check, and they must have a minimum of two years Canadian experience. That's all excellent. It seems you're getting people with certain fundamental qualifications. But do they need to be trained in any specific way other than this? We almost always employ caregivers with personal support workers certificate or PSW certificates or caregivers who were previously registered nurses in their previous countries before they came to Canada. The PSW certificate is a two-semester two community college course followed by on-the-job training as well. By ensuring that our workers have this training, we are confident that they have this competency and experience to work with us. I see. So a portion of the employees are actually registered nurses with training from their countries of origin. That is so true, Lindsay. So in these cases, we're able to help people who are very sick stay in their homes without having to be in an institution. Ah, that's a wonderful service. Yes. Okay. So it's really good to know that you're not just getting people with a pulse to come in and take care of my aging parent. This is hard work, Opal. I imagine the burnout rate must be quite high among people in this field. What kind of turnover do you have among your employees? Lindsay, we have had caregivers for as long as the agency has been around 10 years or oh so. Oh my goodness. As, a, as employers, we ensure that our caregivers are not working beyond what is required. We try not to make them work more than 40 hours per week. So we're always trying to make sure that they live balanced lives as well. I'm liking what I'm hearing so far. It seems that your employees are well trained, there's a rigorous screening process, and you hire people with experience. But Opal, tell me, what do you think distinguishes living assistance services from other home care agencies out there? At Living Assistance Services, we see our strength in being able to match caregivers with care recipients. How we, take time, we take time out to understand our care recipients, understand their background, know their likes and dislikes, and then we go among our caregivers and we see who would best fit this person. Oh. All our jobs has an element of companionship. It's more than just somebody coming in and cooking your meals and so forth. You want your parents to be with people that are like family to them. So to do that, we have to, to match personalities, match what your parents need, match what they're like with caregivers who have similar traits, similar personalities, similar backgrounds. Uh. And that's where our strength is. I see, I see. Thank you, Opa, for stopping by. It seems that your service is top notch. Thanks, Lindsay, for having me. It was a pleasure being here. Same here. <laughs> As a realtor, my goal for my clients is not only to bring you excellence in selling and buying. A large part of my service is as a resource. So if any of you have any questions about Opal's service, you have a parent who is heading in that direction who may need something that she can help you with, I invite you to give me a call. I'd be delighted to hear from you.